Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm trying to introduce how to hide the global email address in the global address book for the uh, in the hybrid environment for the mailbox. Normally we have set up a, a Active Directory in the on-premise and we synchro synchronize all the user accounts to Office 365. After we synchronize to user to Office 365, we assign the license to the user accounts, then the user can get the you know Office 365 features like OneDrive, Office 365 applications and mailbox. So we have created a, in the Active Directory we have created a few user accounts. Let's show you the user accounts is So if we go to the Active Directory, we have created a domain named uh, w2016.local and if we go to internal users and users. So we create a David Smith, Jack Williams and Joseph Me three user accounts. And uh, because the you know for example like Joseph Lee has uh, left the company, we wanted to disable the user account from the uh, Active Directory. Also, we want to change the user mailbox from the, you know, to the shared mailbox. And also, we want to hide the user email address in the global address book because the user is not with the company anymore. So what we can do is we can go to the exchange admin and then we find the user account click the user account, then click others tab, then we can convert convert the user to the shared mailbox. Because I have already converted to the shared mailbox, now it says convert to the regular mailbox. So if we go back, we say, uh, you see, Joseph D is already converted to the shared mailbox. So the next step is, we want to hide the user email address in the global address book. So we click this user and then click general and then we see this uh, manage hide from GL. We click this one, then we click on, click save. When we click save, we get our operation failed. This happens because the user account is sitting in the uh, active directory on-premise. Everything we need to do, we need to configure the user from the on-premise and active directory and synchronize to the Office 365. We can't do from, you know, Exchange Online console. So we just close this one for now. And then we go to the uh, active directory. Because we don't have an Exchange server on-premise, so we need to extend we need to extend the you know the exchange attribute to the Active Directory. What we can do is we need to install the .NET framework 4.8 first. So we need to check if the 4.8 is already installed or not. We can run the command, you know, run the command as administrator and then run this command i g space query space this you know, there's a registry key and uh, slash less is and press enter.
So if we say the we say the reading four point eight is already installed on the server, so we don't need it to install. If we don't uh, have the four point eight installed, then we need to go to the internet to download the .NET framework four point eight and install it on the server and restart the server once. This needs to be done on the domain controller which has the Azure Active Directory connector installed. So after we do this one, the next one is we need to download the uh, Exchange Server 2016 64-bit LCU23. I already downloaded this file and then I map to the D drive. Uh, then we go to the D drive and run the command uh, set up dot exe space forward slash i accept exchange server license terms underscore diagnostic data on space forward slash prepare scammer run this command and then i already run this one it, after we run this one it says exchange server setup operation completed successfully so this after we do this now we can go next step is we need to go to the uh, Azure AD Connect and then we open the Azure AD Connect. Then we click config, and then we click refresh directory scammer. Next, not in.
we uh, refresh the Azure Active Directory scanner and then we can go to the Active Directory again and then we uh, click View menu and then click Advanced Features. This will show all attributes and then we go to the OU which the user account is sitting and we go to this OU. This is Joseph Lee. I we just uh, double click to open the properties and then we go to attribute editor. So there are two attributes we need to config. One is the MX uh, Mail uh, nickname, we need to set up the mail nickname. I just set up to the user uh, same account name, which is uh, Joseph. I click OK. And this one is done. And then the next one is uh, we need to set up the other attribute. MS uh, EXH hide from address list. We just uh, double click to open and then we select true. Click OK. So we apply. Click OK. And then we set up this one and then we can uh, run the data synchronized to the Office 365. We just open PowerShell. So successfully, and then we can go back to the Office 365. Admin console, we go to the Exchange Admin, and then we refresh. take some time to synchronize so You see the this one is hide from address list is showing on now. So if we go to the uh, client outlook, we see what happens. So this is the client outlook. So I have already configured. Uh, 
now out of profile for David Smith. Let's see if we click and uh, I just uh, set up the uh, account to be online email. So I don't use the cache mode because normally the offline address book will be updated at 5 a.m. every day. So, but the online mode will use the you know the global address book in the cloud. So I just use the online mode for now. And then if I connect, and then connect, connect new mail. And if I connect to. We see this uh, Joseph Lee is gone. It's not in the list now, so because it, we have already hid from global address book, is uh, already set up for this user. So this user is not showing up. Uh, thank you for your watching. So just uh, for today, thank you.